Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, a look at news about KCMO programs and city services. The annual Fountain Day Ceremony was held Tuesday, April 8th at the Eagle Scout Memorial Fountain at 39th Street and Gillum Road. In this annual Rite of Spring, residents and city officials joined the Board of Parks and Recreation Commissioners in welcoming our 48 public fountains flowing back to life. So five, four, three, two, one. Check out our Twitter feed to see some of the pictures you've been taking of the fountains. A public meeting about Washington Square Park will be held Wednesday, April 16 at the World War I Museum at 100 West 26th Street. The five-acre park at Pershing Road and Grand Boulevard is being redeveloped into a more active space. An open house from 5 to 7 p.m. is followed by a half-hour presentation by the design team. For more information, contact heather.runkle at kcmo.org. The city's popular Energy Works KC program has provided more than 2,800 local residents and businesses with loans to make energy efficient upgrades since 2010. While most of the program is now drawing to a close, the city is making an additional 175 loans available with the remaining funding. There are no income restrictions, but all interested property owners must first complete an energy analysis on their home or business. The average loan is about $8,000 for things like insulation, air and duct sealing, and improvements for lighting, heating, and cooling. For more information, go online to kcenergy.org or call 816-822-7703. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi. I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, here to tell you about some upcoming events taking place at your Kansas City facilities. Spring is here at a busy time with proms, dance recitals, and interesting and fun events at the Kansas City Convention Center. More than 1,600 area students will converge on Bartle Hall on April 17th for the iBuild Showcase. Kansas City's premier regional construction industry career day. Formerly known as Crayons to Cat, this event showcases heavy equipment and other technology, which allows middle school and high school teens to explore career tracks in construction, including engineering, architecture, contracting, and the skilled trades. The annual iBuild Showcase is sponsored by the National Institute for Construction Excellence. For more information, go to NiceKC.com. On Sunday, May 4th, check out the world's largest costume dog event at the annual Chihuahua Parade at Barney Ellis Plaza. All kinds of dressed up dogs are welcome at this new time procession that hopes to break the Guinness Book of World Records for most dogs in costume. A $5 entry fee per dog goes to no-kill shelters in the Kansas City area. Each costume dog in the parade will receive a $12 dog toy. For more information, visit kcdogparade.com. Come to the Spectrum Fantastic Art Live 3 from May 9th through 11th in the Grand Ballroom at the Convention Center. This three-day event promotes the fantasy genre within the visual arts and provides an annual showcase for contemporary artists. Fans of science fiction and fantasy can view original artwork, listen to panel discussions, and shop at a three-day celebration. From Friday night's opening party through Sunday afternoon, visitors can mingle with hundreds of talented artists at this unique event. Register and buy tickets at SpectrumFantasticArt.com. To learn about more events taking place at Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Hi, I'm Scott Hanover. I'm the director of tennis at the Plaza Tennis Center, part of Kansas City Parks and Recreation, and 
We want to tell you about all the great stuff we have planned for the 2014 season. At Plaza Tennis Center, we're Kansas City's largest municipal public tennis facility. We have 14 outdoor courts. They are all lit for evening play as well. We're open seven days a week from March 1st to October 31st. We have memberships available for folks that like to play on a daily or at least frequent basis, uh, but our programs and facilities, lessons, everything we offer are open to the public and you can join us at any time for as long or as short a time as you'd like to play a little bit of tennis. We offer a lot of different tennis opportunities for kids 18 and under to play tennis. Um, at the beginner skill level we do a lot of the USTA's 10 and under tennis. We follow the red orange green yellow pathway so the kids get to use some tennis balls that are modified that move a little bit easier for them to hit around the tennis court. We also play on shorter courts with the really young kids. We start as young as age four. So we have a program for four to six year olds. We also have a program for beginners that are that age seven to 10. Uh, when they get a little bit older, we have our competition one, two, three program, which is kids that have started to play tennis a little bit can probably serve, hit the ball around a little bit, but they're trying to get more experience and getting ready to play those novice and open USTA tournaments. Uh, that are around the city and then we have our high-end Kansas City United Tennis Academy. Those are kids that are trying to prep for college tennis. They play national and five state area championship events and we have a training academy here for them as well. We also have a lot of different programs for adults. Uh, we offer wheelchair tennis for folks that, that are needing that kind of lesson opportunity. We have lessons for beginners, advanced beginners, intermediates, and we're starting a new advanced level class um, of instruction in 2014. In addition, we have all kinds of social leagues, whether you're a beginner and need to be hitting kind of with the green dot, slower tennis ball, maybe you have taken a hiatus from tennis and you're starting to come back and you'd like to, to get the feel again of, of tennis because it's been a few years, we have a league for you. Um, if you're a more intermediate level player, we have got a social opportunity for you as well. We also host a lot of USTA league matches and can help you find teams to get on. In addition, we are the hub for the co-ed World Team Tennis Recreational Leagues. Uh, we're one of the biggest cities in the country for playing World Team Tennis. That's two men and two women on the same team. In a two-hour format, you play singles, doubles, and mixed against another team. It's super fun, very social and competitive, so it has all of the best aspects of tennis and the teams love to hang out afterwards and, and socialize and it's really a very good, very good time. In addition, we offer a lot of tournament opportunities for folks, whether you're a beginner, maybe you're playing that 10 and under tennis for the first time, we have some what are called roguey tournaments for kids that are 10 and under. We offer a number of novice or challenger level tournaments for kids that are just starting to play uh, traditional USTA tennis format, but need that experience. We also offer what are called Open or Grand Prix tournaments, and we offer these throughout the season, our Plaza Junior Open, we have a May Futures tournament, so we have a lot of very special events for, for kids to play in as well. Uh, the adults don't miss out when it comes to tennis opportunities. We host the USTA National Husband and Wife Tennis Championships at the beginning of May each year and it's a great chance to come and see some of the best couples in the country play championship level tennis. Uh, we are the hosts of the Kansas City Open, we host the USTA League Playoffs, we have an age division championships at the end of, of August so if you would prefer rather to play somebody of your age level rather than skill level we've got the tournament there for, for you as well and at the beginning of October we host the five state area NTRP, that's the National Tennis Rating Program Championships. That's a chance to play someone of your skill level in a tournament. And almost all of our tournaments offer two match guarantees, meaning if you don't win your first match, you get to go into consolation and have an opportunity to, to meet some additional folks and get some additional play opportunities. We feel that's really important when you're just uh, reintroducing yourself to the tennis format, and it's a great way to, to meet additional folks to play as well. So again, events, all ages, all skill levels. If you'd like more information about the Plaza Tennis Center, there's plenty of ways to reach us. You can follow us on Twitter, Plaza Tennis Center, CTR um, is our name. You can find us on Facebook very easily and be one of, and like us, and we're updating our page every day with, with new opportunities there. Uh, you can simply call us at 816-784-784. 
1-800-285-1100 and myself as the director of tennis or any of our pro shop assistants will be glad to speak with you about what kind of opportunities we have to, to play tennis here. Um, in addition, if you are a computer friendly, you're welcome to email us at plazatennis at gmail.com and we always try to respond to you within 24 hours so that you can get the information just as soon as possible. We really look forward to seeing everybody out on the courts this season in 2014 and thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us. Have a great day. A prescription discount card that may help you save money on both brand name and generic drugs is available for all city residents. The Coast to Coast prescription card is targeted for those with no insurance, but all residents may find it useful for any prescriptions not covered by their health plan or if you have a high deductible. The discount program even covers some pet prescriptions. It can also help with dental, vision, hearing, and diabetes needs, as well as imaging tests. There is no fee for the card or to participate in the program, and the city receives a small royalty for each prescription filled, which benefits the health care trust. To download a free card, go to our website and enter prescription card in the search bar. The Airport Terminal Advisory Group held two deliberating sessions this past week and is on track to deliver its recommendation to the mayor at its next meeting on April 22nd. The group of two dozen community leaders was appointed by the mayor to examine options for future terminal configurations at Kansas City International Airport. We will let you know their findings. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for Weekly Report. Thanks for checking out the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.